In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to polar align your astrophysics mount during the daytime. Astrophysics mounts have unique reference park positions that make daytime polar alignment possible and accurate. If you cannot set up the night before, daytime polar alignment is a great option for solar observing and imaging, including eclipses of course, getting up and running quickly at a star party, or getting a head start on a night with a busy observing schedule. Let's review everything you'll need for daytime polar alignment. Know the latitude and longitude coordinates for the location you'll be at. You can look it up ahead of time or retrieve it via a mobile app such as Google Maps. You can even ask Siri, hey Siri, what are my coordinates? Have a compass, either a physical or a digital compass. If you do use a mobile app, make sure you set it to use True North, which is typically found in the app settings. Have a bubble level or a digital level. We demonstrate both, and for the app, we use one called Level for iPhone. For controlling the mount, we will be using an astrophysics keypad. You can also use APCC or ASCOM for mount control, so whenever we reference keypad, you can substitute using the astrophysics software keypad. Make sure your site coordinates and date time are accurate in your keypad or computer. You can set up the site details in advance and save to a unique site preset. The keypad is typically preferred, but as mentioned, a computer can be used as well. Just make sure your computer settings are also accurate for date, time, and location. Your scope should be roughly focused before you proceed with any centering routines that involve looking through a wide field eyepiece or camera sensor view. You can do this ahead of time by focusing on a distant terrestrial subject such as a faraway mountaintop, antenna tower, or similar. We start the process by setting up our tripod and mount and roughing in the alignment. Set up your tripod with the legs at your desired height, one leg pointing north or south if you are in the southern hemisphere. Use the compass or app to more accurately orient the tripod leg direction. It's best to stand back a bit from your mount and give the compass time to calibrate. Adjust the tripod position as needed. Attach the mount and make sure to secure it to the tripod with the screws. At this point, it's a good idea to make sure your mount's azimuth adjuster is roughly in the center so you have room for adjustments in both directions. Adjust the tripod legs to level your mount using the bubble level as a reference. Adjust the mount's altitude to match your site's latitude. For example, if you are at 43 degrees latitude, adjust the mount's altitude to 43 degrees. The altitude scale is etched on the side of the mount. You can also use a digital level to set this. Just be careful to correctly position your mobile device and make sure it's perpendicular to the ground. With the mount now attached, recheck it is oriented north using your compass. Finalize your setup by attaching your counterweights, telescope, and full equipment, making sure it's balanced. Now we do the daytime polar alignment routine for astrophysics mounts. Again, make sure your keypad or software settings are correct for your location, date, and time. Loosen the clutches and manually position your mount in Park 1 position. This is what Park 1 looks like in the Northern Hemisphere and in the Southern Hemisphere. Longtime astrophysics mount owners know Park 1 is not recommended for general use, but here it is used for universality. It works across all mounts and keypad versions. Advanced users can substitute Park 4 or Park 5 for Park 1 position, but for this tutorial we are sticking with Park 1. Manually level both the counterweight shaft and the telescope using a bubble level. The clutches should be loose in this step. Once both are level, snug up the clutches.
Next, power up the mount and use the keypad to unpark from Park 1 position. For Mach 2 owners, you can just unpark. Next, park the mount in Park 2 position. Loosen the deck clutch and level the scope with the bubble level. Tighten the deck clutch when you are done. Using the keypad, park at Park 1 again, and now using only the altitude adjuster, level the scope with a bubble level reference. When you are done, snug the altitude locking knobs. Now, use the keypad or computer to go to a visible target such as a visible bright star, planet, or the sun. Your telescope will need to be focused to see the target. If you are going to the sun, make sure you have the appropriate filter in place before slewing the mount. Just as a side note, for the 2024 eclipse, Jupiter will be slightly west of the sun, and Saturn and Mars are slightly to the east. Venus will also be visible. Use the azimuth adjuster to center the target in your eyepiece or camera sensor. You are now roughly polar aligned. You can further refine your polar alignment by repeating the steps starting with parking at Park 2 and level it once again and then returning to Park 1 with altitude adjustment. Okay, we hope this tutorial makes your setup faster and easier and your observing more enjoyable. If you have any tip or other suggestion for improving daytime polar alignment, please leave a comment below. Thanks again for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel.